What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot, here to do your weekly messages starting May 13th, 2024. Virgo, mm, I'm sorry, I just did Virgo. <laughs> Aquarius, I hope all is well. Uh, first and foremost, before we begin, I want to wish all the Aquarians who are mothers a very happy Mother's Day. So we're going to continue the energies here using the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas uh, to deliver your messages, not reading reversals. We're just going to cleanse the energies from doing Virgo's reading. Okay, I just did Virgo's reading. I somehow skipped over them yesterday. It wasn't intentional, but it's all good. Anyway, what's coming up for my uh, water bearers this week? Please show Aquarius what is the potential energy for the week ahead. Also, um... Aquarius, I'll be throwing some cards here, very positive uh, oracle cards, messages from the Magical Times Empowerment uh, card deck here, okay, so there will be no negative energies uh, to reveal or to speak about, all right, energies for Aquarius, what's coming up for Aquarius, all right, we need some good energy. All right, here we go, Aquarius, your first message. We're going to open. Well, there we go. We got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is always about relationships. Now, the Two of Cups present in your spread this week could just simply coming through, could be coming through for those Aquarians who are already engaged in partnerships. Well, if you are, you're equally uh, sharing each other's energies, like-mindedness, um, you know, may like the same things whatever like-mindedness i already said that right so two of cups um what you give is what you're going to give back this also could be the energy where for the single aquarians out there there may be some sort of uniting going on here um you know friendship leading into romance uh this is the two of cups could be invite yeah inviting invitations could be first dates all right that is the Two of Cups. It's all about that romance, love, partnerships. Up next now we have, I'm not reading reversals, Five of Wands. Five of Wands here for you. Um, Aquarius simply means, I always say it's the projection of energy that may come on to you. And it follows the relationship card. So, you know, even if you are involved in a partnership, don't waste your time getting into petty arguments, squabbles. It's not worth your time or energy because normally it is what is going on with them and got nothing to do with you. They're just trying to draw you into that energy. Um, if it is not that having to deal with petty fights or arguments with, um, you know, a romantic partners, it could be friends, family members, then don't, you know, get yourself involved. Don't add fuel to the fire. It could be just you're feeling a little bit restless this week and that too shall pass. Always temporary energies with the fives, no matter what element shows up. Next up, we have the three of pentacles here, and this is the card of uh, collaborating, uh, being recognized for some energy that you may have put into a situation that could involve your actual work. And then, you know, you're recognized through a small pay raise. It could be that you worked on something outside of work and you completed that project. Now it's time for you to uh, either congratulate yourself, reward yourself, or it could be coming in from others in terms of a job well done. Thank you so much and so forth. This is all also to workplace attraction and also you may be it does mirror over to the um two of cups you may be introduced to somebody new whether or not that introduction to somebody new is linked with um potential romance or not it doesn't really matter there is someone that is going to be introduced to you now this could be also in the workplace environment um, maybe, you know, you meet somebody who, um, introduces you to someone who works in a different department and it could be that energy as well. Following the three, uh, three of pentacles here, uh, because the energies will be posted by Monday, I always say that Wednesday, uh, there could be that introduction to somebody new, or it could be, um, you know, that uh, thank you, pat on the back, job well done type of energy coming your way. Some sort of recognition coming your way for something that you've done. Following that is the um, two of pentacles. In this case, you're juggling two things, all right? Trying to balance something out. It's on a minor scale. Some of you could be just, you know, working two jobs, 
um, be interested in two people. You know, two people may be interested in you. Some of you may be just trying to balance your checkbook. It's that simple. Up next after the Two of Pentacles, now we have the Goddess of Cups. Okay, this is the Queen of Cups. She mirrors over there to the Two of Cups. We were just talking about relationships. So, of course, she's all about that relationships. But then again, the Goddess of Cups or the Goddess, yeah, the Goddess of Cups, the God of Cups, they all represent, as well as the Nine of Cups, achieving some sort of emotional happiness, Aquarius, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment based on those relationships that you are currently having some sort of exchange with, or it could be that um, potential fulfillment, achievement, uh, satisfaction, emotional satisfaction, contentment for future, okay, relationships. Now, this is an open and general reading, so we're not just talking about love and romance. We're talking about this energy could be expressed through family, through platonic friends, and so forth. But most importantly, pay attention to your intuition. She is here to help you in terms of any actions or decisions that you may go through this week so that you're picking and choosing the right thing for you moving forward. She's a nurturer. She's a caretaker. All right. I also associate the uh, Queen of Cups specifically with those people who work in the industry of taking care of others. Following the Queen of Cups here for you, Aquarius, now we have the God of Wands, which is <laughs> it's the King of Wands. So under the relationship card, so, you know, some of you may be dealing with fire signs or in relationships with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have an interest in them. Okay, now they could also be in your family. But the um, King of Wands comes through because you're drawing in or attracting in some strong energy. It's either moving towards you or it's you're moving towards it. The King of Wands is always focused on something or someone, as I always say, and they normally go after whatever it is that they're focused on. This is a card that represents a great deal of intensity, definitely passion, and when it comes to love and romance, sexual energy and sexual expression. Also for the Aquarians out there who may be artistic, it could be that the king is coming through to give you that burst and that surge of energy when it comes to your, you know, your creative pursuits. Following the King of Wands, now we have the Five of Cups. Okay, a little contradictory energy here. Sadness and disappointment. Again, it's underneath another five, so they're temporary. Sometimes we just go through mood swings and <laughs> no reason, no rhyme or reason why we feel the way that we do. It's just that I always say it could be just a small chemical imbalance and our brain is just trying to make that shift and it's temporary. No sense of crying over spilled milk, but then again, it may not be something that's personally going to uh, you know affect you or impact you this could be your child this could be your romantic partner this could definitely be a friend a co-worker okay but whatever this five of cups may mean for you just note that it is temporary and will not stick around too long then we have the four of swords the four of swords is rest relaxation rejuvenation for some of you taking or planning future trips uh, detaching your energies from your work, taking a day off just to, you know, regroup Aquarius, um, reclaiming your independence and your happiness. Just do something uh, just for yourself to make you happy. The things that you do that doesn't uh, require you to do uh, some, you know, some things with others that leads to happiness. You have to be happy on your own. Um, but this is too temporary in terms of detaching. You just need a moment alone to um, sort of like rejuvenate for some of you. Following the uh, Four of Swords here for Aquarius, now we have the Goddess of Pentacles. All right, so this is the Queen of uh, Pentacles here. So, of course, this is money coming in. It could be that your money or your financial situation is stabilizing or getting better. This could represent your boss in the work workplace environment, creditors. Some of you may be running your own business. Then if that's the case, money and more resources become available. We have the two of cups here uh, in terms of relationships. So what this could be for the single Aquarians specifically that, hey, you know, somebody might come along who is uh, very you know, uh, astute, doing, you know, well for themselves. They could be running their own business or doing something very important in the line of work or career that they have chosen. 
Uh, these people oftentimes come across as nurturers like the uh, Queen of uh, Cups. Okay, they're uh, never coming across as stingy or selfish, always willing to share what they accumulated with others, always there in a time of need and doesn't always have to be, you know, related to financial help. Okay. So it's a good week to ask boss. Yeah, bosses and creditors for favors. Last card I have for you, Aquarius is the happiness card we finish off pretty good it counter crosses over here to the two of cups so that may be significant for a lot of you because i always read the four of wands as um not only the happiness card but the engagement of celebrations you know it could be weddings birthdays anniversaries couples deciding to move in with one another taking the relationship a step further um, you could decide following the money card to relocate to thinking about relocating to a different area. And if so, you need shelter. So you may be deciding to purchase a home. If it's not purchasing a home, it could be that you still need to have a roof over your head. So it could be a new apartment, condo or townhome. But whatever the instance is, friends may be deciding to move in with one another. Uh, family members deciding to move in with one another. And it's all about the shared happiness inside of a structure of a building with others. All right. So this is what I have for you this week. It looks most impressive. Uh, just remember, it's me interpreting the cards. Only take what's going to work for you, Aquarius, and leave the rest alone. But um, I'm loving the four corners here. You guys have to look at the four corners. Uh, I always seem to find some sort of significance with the four corner energies. You have the two of cups, you have the uh, queen of cups, you have the king of wands, and now you have the happiness card. All right. So I think relationships um, are always important, but I think for some of you this week, it may be even more important. Something's going on here. All right, so messages from the Magical Times Empowerment Cards. These are very positive. And look at this. We start off with love. Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love, especially when it comes to loving yourself. Up next is cycles. We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. Next message is rebirth is no matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past. Accept the positive change that is coming. Shadow energy here is uh, creation. Remember your thoughts. Shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. That's very important because what we think we create. All right, so this is Soul from Intuitive Tarot. Uh, Aquarius, just delivering your messages, giving you my impressions and interpretations. Uh, again, take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. But I appreciate you guys liking the video, uh, commenting, sharing the video if you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, have a safe, great week ahead. Once again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Come back and get more of these beautiful messages. Just remember to come back smiling for me, Aquarius, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.